Hello guys, welcome to another video of Daredevil Triangle and today I will be doing a review on the new PlayStation Vita PCH 2000. Okay guys, taking a look at the hardware, in the front of the Vita we have got a gorgeous 5 inch OLED display and at the right of the front we have got our joystick which is the analog stick and the xbox triangle o buttons and even the speakers which are circular in the new vita as compared to the old vita which were in a, a straight line like a rectangle and even the start and select button over here have become circular and we have also got our camera, the front facing camera over there. And at the left of the Vita, we have got a left analog stick and the home button, which is also newly a circular design. And the speaker, as usual, is that side, the circular design and the D-pad. And at the back of the Vita, we have our rear facing camera on top over there and we have got our back touchpad which is really awesome which is not available on the PSP and which is a really awesome gaming instrument which has been included in the PS Vita which is also a bit smaller as compared to the old Vita and the new Vita and the finger grip area is a bit more bigger so it makes it comfortable for us to keep our fingers on it. Taking a look at the front, taking a look at the top of the Vita, sorry guys, we have our game card slot over there in the middle and we have got our volume brokers to the right of it and to the left of the game card slot area we have got the power button which is re really nice really you know like comfortable pressing it and beside that which we have the new LED indication light and the notification light over there okay guys the part beside the game card slot which was there in the old Vita and which is not there in the new Vita as you can see which was a mystery to all has been removed in the new Vita and at the bottom of the Vita guys we have got an interesting stuff which is the new micro USB part charging part instead of a proprietary cable which was really irritating when you lose it you gotta buy a new one but the new micro USB cable has made it really easy and beside that which we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and to the right of that we have got our memory card slot we have also got the microphone which is below the micro USB slot taking a look at the camera guys at the front we have got our 0.2 megapixel camera and at the back we have got our newly upgraded 1 megapixel camera which is really good for chatting and all those stuff. Taking a look at the total hardware, the PS Vita has been performing really good. The buttons, they're really good, they're really responsive and the touchpad is really sensitive which makes it really nice for gaming. Taking a look at the software of the Vita guys, we have got our, uh, our ordinary original layout of the Vita and we have not got any changes to the new Vita except we have got some hidden stuff which is not identifiable and I will take another video of that too. Taking a look at the screen guys, it's not glare proof and stuff. As you can see, you can see the bulb above me which is glowing and uh, it's not glare proof so you can't expect a lot from it and it is also 
a new upgraded LCD display instead of a OLED display which was really good better than the new Vita but if you want a slimmer profile it's better you choose a new Vita. Taking a look at the soft performer I'm running guys I'm running on the latest 3.18 system software operating system software which has not given a really good uh, upgrade to it but instead given us only the feature of connecting to your PlayStation 4 and map which you can get it in the PlayStation Store so that wraps it up guys of the new PlayStation Vita the review of the Vita so if you want more videos about the Vita you can stay tuned my, to my channels and I will be doing a lot of videos to my channel so stay tuned guys pre